Welcome to What the Fuck News, episode 4, wherein I present news stories, one of which is false. Perhaps you can guess which one. News item number one. We shall start with one of my favorites. Of course, they're all of my favorites. Grizzled, creepy old man who lives in a forest has demanded the addresses, images, and other information of over 70 strip club dancers because that information is in what he calls the public domain because the strip club dancers are licensed by the state. The reason given why he wants that information is he wants to pray for them. And no, it wasn't me, it was somebody else. <clears throat> Thank you for wondering anyways. Quote this person, I would pray for those dancers by name. I am a Christian. We have a right to pray for people. I'm not going to harm them. End of quote. The strip club has filed an injunction preventing that person from receiving this information. A judge has upheld that injunction, but there is still a hearing involved. This person might actually get the stripper's personal information what they look like, their height, their weight, their body build, and where the information on where they live. When the judge told this creepy old man that he is up, uh, temporarily upholding the injunction, the creep said he found the um, injunction, quote, chilling, unquote. Story number two, and it shows just how bizarre American politics has become and has been for decades, I guess. 300 pound pig leading in polls in school board election. It seems a school board in Mississippi is having an election and there's three positions on the school board. And the school's mascot, a 300-pound sow, is the favorite write-in candidate in the polls at the moment, leading all other contenders. <sighs> Candidates are, quote, worried, unquote, that the pig might actually be elected. Apparently there's absolutely no current laws in place to prevent a non-human from being elected. Of course, if a corporation can be a person, why not a pig? Story number three. Wisconsin couple arrested for copulating in back of police car, among other crimes. I bet you did not know, but if you fornicate in the back of a police car after you have been arrested, that is considered public lewdness, even if there's only the police officer in the front of the car driving. It seems a couple was in a vehicle, and the vehicle was being driven down the road, and it was swerving along the highway. So the police officer pulled the vehicle over, gave a field sobriety test to both of them, and of course the driver failed the test, and both of them were arrested for um, driving while under the influence of an intoxicant. The car was impounded and hauled away, and the police officer put both people in the back of the police car and was driving them to jail. It was a quiet night, a romantic, moonless night, and while the police officer was driving down the highway 
to jail heard strange noises in the back. These noises got louder, more insistent, and resolved themselves into moans and grunts. News item number four. A woman has been arrested and she spent a whole month in jail for possession of methamphetamine. It appears that she was pulled over in her car and the police officer saw that she was doing something with a little baggie in the passenger seat of her car and when the vehicle was pulled over she stuffed that little baggie into her purse. Field officer performed a field test on the substance and it came up positive for methamphetamine so she was all the way. It took a month for the laboratory to do a second test on the substance after which, it was discovered that the substance was, and I quote, SPAGHETTIOS, end of quote. The woman, of course, is now out of jail, and I assume she is, at this very moment, talking to a lawyer. News item number five, which is also my favorite. Couple had sex on top of their murdered victims' bodies and could not get off. I am tempted to just leave that story right there because what more can be said? It seems a man and a woman who were terribly under the influence of some terrible potion decided to murder two other people and take whatever the hell possessions they had, just rob the bodies. After which, the woman turned to the man and said, Hey, let's have sex on top of the dead people. So they did. Or I should say, so they tried. At the hearing to arraign for first-degree murder, if not manslaughter, because they were under the influence of drugs. One of the persons, and it's not clear who, said, and I quote that person, quote, We both couldn't get off. Plus, it was weird. End of quote. Dude, if you were the dude, or check if that was the woman. I'm thinking at the moment that's the worst of your worries. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> News item number six, and this of course is one of my favorite fantasies. Polygamous women dressed like ninjas attack witness in Utah. It seems there was a sex um, abuse case being prosecuted in Utah and a witness who lives in Utah was visited one night by several uh, women, two of which were armed and dressed like ninjas that stormed into the witness's house and accosted him. Both of them wielding swords. <sighs> Nobody was hurt. Two of the women were arrested. <sighs> as soon as these women get out of jail, I want their phone numbers. News item number seven, which is the last. And you're not going to believe it. Convicted killer murdered fiance and ate her brain. It seems Joseph Oberhansley stabbed his girlfriend, Tammy Jo Blayton, to death, then hacked out portions of her brain, lungs, and heart, and ate them. It seems this is not the first time he has done that to somebody. It seems he was convicted on a previous similar charge, wherein he murdered his wife, ate part of her brain, was found insane, was later found sane enough to be released. 
into American society, which I admit you don't have to be very sane to fit in. And part of that release from prison was because Tammy Jo Blayton posted his bond so that he could be released from prison. No sinister deed goes unpunished unless, of course, you're a politician or something. There it is! Seven stories, one of which is false. Maybe you can figure out which one. I will reveal that in the next episode. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.